Hello guys. This is a, a soil electric buzzer that everyone knows. It works in either 6 volt, it is working in a 12 volt. This one is working in 12 volt. And you have to connect a DC supply, a battery to it. When you open this, it will look like this. You see, this is the SO electric element there. It seems to be a disc, a circular disc. Actually, there is a crystal inside between the plates. And three connections are coming. Three connections. One is from the outer which is a negative and there are two others a red color a red wire and a black wire so there are three wires from the pesoelectric uh, circular disc and here it is a transistor and three resistors this one is the transistor and these are the three resistors connected from its base emitter and collector and these are the two wires red and blue is to be connected to the DC supply I shall show the diagram circuit diagram of this pesoelectric meter thank you for now Okay, now let us check the resistance. Clones, one resistance is 100 kilohms that is showing a near value. This is the resistance that is connected to the collector. Now to the next one. Okay, that is one, uh, 10, 10 kilohms. That is in the kilohms range. This is 10 kilohms. This is the resistance uh, starting from the base and going to the uh, the previous resistor I have checked now one is in the emitter uh, the emitter uh, that is in the ohmic range I have put it in the ohmic range This resistor is coming from the uh, emitter and the other end of the resistor is, uh, is the negative, the power supply negative. This is showing 400 and 460, 460 ohms, actually it is showing 461, it is 460 ohms ohmic value. These are the three resistors there. Uh, now I will uh, show you the diagram, circuit diagram. Thank you for watching. Okay, now let us draw the circuit diagram. In this circuit, it is using a NPN transistor. And so this emitter this is on the collector and this is the base uh, let this be the power supply line 
connector is directly connected to the power supply positive maybe a 6 volt or 12 volt and the emitter emitter is connected to a resistor that is 460 ohms and this will be the negative line for the zero voltage zero voltage now from the supply line there are two resistors first comes the 100 kilo ohms followed by a 10 kilo ohms 10 kilo ohms ok that is to be connected to the base now the junction between 10 kilo ohms and 100 kilo ohms just take a wire from here taking a jumping no connection now it is going to one terminal of the piezoelectric element we can call it as the feedback this is the feedback end now let this be the crystal part we are not seeing that because it is inside and this is the ok this one is the input element this is the input element we call it as input input element this one is input element and this is the plate this one is the metal plate which we see as in a circular manner that one is connected to the emitter here this emitter we are connecting it to the plate which is circular in shape and it is a metal plate this one is the input terminal now this input terminal is also connected to the power supply like this uh, this is the whole circuit diagram uh, I think everything is complete ok now this transistor can be of BC 148 a general purpose uh, silicon transistor BC 148 and now one more thing I think this circuit is complete now. Now about the um, piezoelectric thing. So the outer is this one. This is the uh, metal plate. And you see something here in a small size that is a feedback this is a feedback or feedback element or feedback electrode we can say and a broad thing you will see like this this is also another plate this is the input element this one is the input the metal plate feedback and input element ok thank you for watching give comments and subscribe bye